We begin with tonight's stormy weather that brought a lot of lightning over Metro Detroit. This is video that our Tim Pampla just sent into the newsroom. Uh, right now, DTE reporting 61,000 customers without power. We continue a theme of the summer. Andrew, let's find out if the storms are finished. Well, Karen and Devin, what a light storm we had, right? And no, it is not finished. Now, the severe weather that we saw earlier, fortunately, that is all said and done. But we're still looking at light to moderate showers across the area, and there are still flood concerns. Even without the heavy rain currently falling, it's pretty much stopped raining in Trenton for now. But this waterlogged area from Trenton over to Riverview in the southeast corner of Wayne County, including Rose Hill, is still seeing high water. So we still have flash flood warnings there until 1 o'clock in the morning. Look how much rain fell within the past six hours over an inch over two inches in these areas of dark green and yellow down toward Gross Hill. Same thing here in parts of uh, St. Clair County, nearly one and a half inches in Macomb County, just over an inch out toward Plymouth and same thing up toward the Flint area with more shower and thunderstorm activity on the way. Now much of this has dissipated over the past couple of hours, but it is still marching in our direction. So I still would not be surprised by scattered light to moderate showers as we go through the overnight hours 73 right now and it remains warm and muggy overnight. We'll talk about what you can expect tomorrow morning because it will be a little bit wet.